Now then, this also explained to us why there is no obesity in the natural ecosystem. But the bird whose food was changed, such as farmed chickens, or any other genetically or man-made strain, will indeed be obese due to the food change. Because farmed chickens even eat fish. And I haven't heard of any flying fish in the forest for wild birds to eat. You will never find an obese carnivore in the forest. But pet dogs, which are fed by the lady owner with the same nutritional elements or sophisticated mixtures that she eats, end up being walked around sometimes fat as a pig. And with all the metabolic or degenerative illnesses that wild carnivore animals never suffer. The bison and the buffalo, their sheer muscle with a thin layer of fat, which varies and fluctuates with good grasses on a seasonal basis. But on the other hand, wherever man intervenes and creates genetic strains, like Hereford and other, the breeder will have to sell them fast before they reach the age of two years and become obese. As you see, besides the animals that I have mentioned, like herbivores, carnivores, and the wild little birds, let's see what happens with omnivores, such as man who eats everything, from omni, everything. The example of nature is the boar, that eats birds, eggs, rats, tubers, grass, fruits, you name it. However, we'll never see an obese boar in documentaries. The domestic pig genetically created and fed by man, it sure is obese.